So yes, it has come to this. My linen closet. <laughs> I cannot believe I have allowed. Would you look at that? This is my linen closet, you guys. And I am ashamed. It has come to this. So since we are, you know, uh, on a shelter in place, I have more than enough time today to tackle this linen closet. I just cannot believe I have allowed it to get this way, but I did. And it's okay because guess what? This is real life. Hustle and bustle, working every day, just trying to keep it together. Uh, you know, just trying to keep your sanity right now in these trying times. And I have allowed my linen closet to just be so disarrayed. I won't even show you. And this is just not even a portion of it. I won't even show you the rest. But guess what? We're going to tackle this little portion today. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to organize this chaotic uh, linen closet. So today... I am going to declutter and reorg my hallway linen closet. Stay tuned. This is Velvet with Empowering Moments. We'll be back. Hey, so I'm back. <laughs> the great declutter of the um, linen closet. So let me just show you what I've done. You saw my what it looked like prior to... So let me just show you. I'm at the very, very top of the uh, linen closet rack. And I have used all of that real estate, as you can see. I've used all of that real estate. Now, if you followed me on my previous videos, then you know that I do like white and gray towels. However, I did have some other colors. And what I found out was that my guests prefer the colored towels. So I had given quite a bit of them away. And, but I did keep a lot, as you can see. And I'm so glad I did because I want people to feel comfortable. And while I might like a good white towel or a good gray towel, they feel uncomfortable using them. So I don't enforce that. So I keep a uh, colored towel so that if they don't want to use the white ones, they're free to go in the linen closet and, you know, pick a towel. <laughs> so now listen, this is, my house is old somewhat old. So it needs a lot of um, tender love and care. So I'm going to be painting this linen closet over the summer. I'm going to give it a coat of paint and I'm going to take out these wire racks and I'm going to put in some wood racks or some type of uh, other racks, but they won't be wire racks. So, you know, it just takes time to do things, you know, uh, you do what you can do when you can do it. So for about 11 years, I have dealt with this closet and I want to go ahead and give it an upgrade. So you'll be seeing some upgrades throughout the house, you know, throughout the summer as well. Okay, so this is the very top rack and let's move on down and more towels. And now these uh, shower curtains I got from the dollar store, Dollar Tree, and I just buy them in abundance because it's just easier to just, you know, hang them you know, and then when they get dirty, take them out and throw them away. So I stock up on those. It's time to get some more. I'm running out, but it's time to get some more. So I usually try to get, you know, 12 or more um, when I go to the Dollar Tree. That way I always have them. And they're good for a lot of other things. If you're painting and I just started painting, so I use them to, you know, lay on my table or whatever surface I'm using to paint. And so they're good for more than just a shower curtain. And they're only a dollar. And then this uh, container here, um, I use for some of my essentials and then let's move on down and remember I told you guys that I use the dollar store sweater bags and I iron my sheets and I fold them and I keep them in the dollar store sweater bags so and then here you have more towels and then let's go down and we have my bathroom essentials I guess you can see that I am a bath and body works kind of girl you know I love taking good hot baths and um, I just love to have a luxurious bath every now and again. Okay, and let's just move on down. I have my uh, first aid kit here and I just have some extra hand towels. And then if we go down to the bottom, then you will see where I have my cleaning essentials. 
and I just have those in a container just to, so that they can stay contained. And then this little area here, uh, these little boxes just have my uh, feminine products uh, for, you know, perhaps if I have guests and they need something, they can always find what they need right there. So this is the finished product of my uh, chaotic linen closet. <laughs> As I said before, you know, hey, we're at home. It's, I mean, this is a good opportunity. Everybody should have a clean house uh, within the next month, you know, everybody, because we have nothing else to do but clean our homes and get organized. So, hey, are you getting organized? What are you doing in your downtime while we're doing our shelter in places in most states? What are you doing? Let's have a blessed and wonderful day. And remember to keep God first, trust and believe in him. All things will work out. We know that God is in control all day, every day. Be blessed, be empowered. This is Velvet with Empowering Moments with Velvet.